This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this van. It is a 2015 Kia Sedona LX. Has 104,000 in 19 miles. It was a new car dealer trade-in here in Tucson to Jim Click Kia. Uh, we purchased it a couple days ago. Inspected it. Awesome car. Nothing wrong with it at all. It went to the detail shop. Um, it's got a little bit of like on the lower bumper cover there. You can see some touch up would help it. A couple rock chips on the on the front of the hood, one on the rear bumper cover, and that's about it. It's a really nice car. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm gonna walk around this thing. I'm gonna show you any of the stuff that I see cosmetically that's not right. I mean, it's pretty, it's extremely minor, but I will because my job is to make sure that the uh, that the uh, uh, anything that is wrong, uh, I point out, and you can go go to the uh, photo gallery and see it up close. Some kind of little bit of bug stuff, not bad. There's a rock chip here, and you can see it up close and judge for yourself. Chip there. Um, that way, the right person ends up with the vehicle, and we don't have any drama. Drama sucks. We're not doing drama. Um, the way the car business is right now, anything under 20 grand that isn't on fire uh, <laughs> sells quickly. Um, so when you find a nice vehicle that's under 20 grand, um, as long as you represent it correctly and accurately, there wouldn't be any drama. And uh, that's what we do all the time. So this is pretty easy for us to do that. Anyway. I'm looking for a door ding or something. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. There's a chip right here. And I saw another one somewhere. Yeah, right there. I'll buy some touch-up paint and you'll be good to go. I left the uh, second row and the third row mats in here. They came back from detail a little while ago. They're still a little damp, so I didn't want to step on them with 30 feet and put a big, you know, footprint on them so there's your seat up and back this one too right um obviously these wheel these will stow stow don't let go of the thing there you go they will stow into this hole here and make a car a, a cargo area back here I put my finger in there and see how much tread is there. I see a little fading here on the roof rack. It is Tucson. Obviously, this vehicle was inside because uh, uh, the sun's a little rougher than that. It would make a mess of it if it wasn't inside. Um, the hood and the roof would be all oxidized, but it's not. So, anyway, here's uh, doors. So I open that door and this door with the remote, right? And you can close them with the remote too. I'm gonna fire this guy up. Then we're gonna go under the hood, walk around the vehicle. I will show, sorry about the glare. Try to get it out of there. 104,035 miles are on it now. That was mostly driving it down I-10 and uh, to detail and et cetera. Hey, whoever owned this thing took really good care of it. Really nice little minivan. We're afraid to even show our uncle. He's a huge fan of this type of minivan. He's a car dealer that sold about 40,000 used cars. If he sees this one, he's gonna hand us the keys for his 2009 Sedona and uh, probably take this one <laughs> without paying for it <laughs> because he actually owns this property and rents it to us for a dollar a year. So if anyone can do that, it's him. <laughs> so hopefully we can put this thing behind the building or something and hide it because he loves this thing I, everyone who saw this said oh god wait till pete sees that yep he will be all over it all right let's see let's do this first so even though this is obviously low uh we just deliver the message. There's a 2015 Kia minivan with 104,000 miles, a range, fair market range of 12,936, basically 13 to 15,1. Typical listing price 14,435. That number is really low in today's climate. They're a little behind. Um, 
if you click uh, if you were able to, if we were able to provide you with the link from Carfax you would be able to pr look at this live but it'll be scanned in uh, on this vehicle's uh, page our ad for this uh, vehicle and you'll be able to uh, see this thing there that's all the equipment that came with it on the window sticker here's the actual Carfax this will be uh, all this stuff will be in the ad but I like to run through it just to see if anything's to be found no major title problems let's see let's say it was born in Texas bum, bum, bum. 38,000 miles then it ends up in Tucson makes a little trip up to Vancouver Washington Arizona blah 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 nothing page there you go there's your Carfax there's a boatload of manuals in there that looks good Seats are in great condition. Interior of this thing is pretty, really pretty. I already did the window. Let's see, let's hop in here. There's the button to close it. All right. Then you got window up and down. If you want to see it open from inside, you'd hit it again. I'm just gonna close it again. There you go. All right, and let's see, you've got some cup holder. You got cup holder here, you got some sort of a storage thing down here. This will fold up and become a seat. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand and that's impossible. So that's what that looks like. All right, I'll swing over to this side, hit the button. There's that. Window up and down. Just see it open from inside. There's that, okay. And then close it from inside. All right, so that's that. Let's see, we have air conditioning controls in here. Let's see, ba -ba -ba. here we go. And, oh wait, no, I gotta put this on like that. Take that off, put it on. Then, there we go. I was wondering why I wasn't getting it, because it was locked. So the kids couldn't mess with me. All right, so there's that. Okay, I'm gonna close it again. Power seat, forward, back, up, down, tilt forward and back. Up in here, believe it or not, it's warm. It's probably 90 right now. Now, let's see, we have, we can open up both doors from inside, okay? And then you can close both doors. There you go. There's that. Seatbelt down here. All right, let's see what else we got going on. Mirror out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up. I put it way up so I can see it. And down, okay. Let's see. This is the fan control and the, the for the rear AC. Put that on that. Fan control up here, and it's really cool, which is nice. Um, radio, yikes, let's see. That's, a, that's serious. So it's still got some, some subscription left. There's your uh, radio. So you got that. Oh, you know what? I need to leave that on for uh, for the back of camera. Let's see what else we got. Boom, boom, boom. Got that. Let's see. Boom. That cruise control, there's cruise control on and off, right? Let's see, turn the radio, let's see, volume up. On Saturday, I'm telling you, station, that's here, right? Mode, yeah, yeah, there's back to Sirius. Turn the radio down, there you go, you got the phone stuff here. Let's see, what else we got? We got tilt wheel. There's tilt wheel, right? 
windshield wipers rear windshield wiper all right let's see what else we got going oh we have a usb and auxiliary port there center console i don't think there's anything there showed you the eco oh there's the eco right there on and off uh bu -bu -bu -bu. heated seats there you go uh, i think that's about it let's uh go for a ride well let me put it in reverse real quick you see the back of the camera there's the back of the camera okay all right if you come to tucson to drive this van home you'll pay the following you'll pay your state tax rate whatever that is plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollars dock fee if you pay by wire and ship out of state all you're going to pay is agreed upon price there'll be no tax no dock fee nothing uh, other than the actual price of the vehicle um, if you do pay by wire and ship out of state once we receive full payment we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address we will sign it off to you scan it in your online file and mail it to you we even scan in the envelope we mail it in okay um, so you'll be able to see everything um, you will have the vehicle shipped to you um, the title will already be in the mailbox probably almost every time before the shipper shows up with the van um, once the shipper shows up, you'll take the title and you'll go get your plates. It's very simple. Um, if you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction. I'm, uh, I can do it all for you. We can roll the shipping price into the price of the vehicle. Uh, we can just give you some phone numbers uh, or you can just do it yourself. We have multiple, many, many buyers who have bought from us many times. Uh, Kyle in San Diego is on 11 or 12. Um, he can. He knows how to, how to buy a car from us, pay for it, and have it out of our yard almost before we knew it was sold <laughs> it's pretty amazing so it's not that hard but if you need help let me know all right deposits five hundred dollars once we agreed upon a price please make sure you get your deposit in uh, once we have that deposit it will no longer be for sale but until we have a deposit it will be for sale every single time okay we're not holding cars um, last part of every video I say the same thing and I have for 14 years in thousands of vehicles we don't have salesmen uh so they're not included in the it, they don't get a commission on this sale so that saves you money we don't have a fancy location that costs us a fortune i just told you uh, that this this uh kia minivan we got to hide because our uncle uh charges us a dollar a year for our property uh he's got plenty of money and he's very helpful all right so that saves money uh when we're selling vehicles okay saves on the cost to you um we don't have a attendant serving scones and lattes and uh, you know a game room for the kids and all that crap that they have at the auto mall which is about a half a mile to the east of us right where we are right now um, and they've got fountains and beautiful pavement and when I turn right onto Gardner Lane you're gonna see Bolivian pavement uh, <laughs> fortunately we're in a nice car and we won't rattle our teeth out but when I'm driving these one-ton diesel trucks it's loud and annoying because we don't have the payment they have. We also don't have the bill for the payment that they have. See what I'm talking about, all right? Right here is where it gets really cra crappy. They just keep patching it. Anyway, um, that's just more stuff they have to pay for, pay for when they sell you a vehicle that we don't have to pay for, okay? Um, we have this location, we have barbed wire and night vision cameras and cops that are all over the neighborhood watching meth head zombie around. Um, that kind of property is not very expensive, especially when your uncle owns it, and uh, he does. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so what I'm getting at also is that at the auto mall, when they sell you a vehicle and something breaks, you can bring it back and you know tell them, I just paid a fortune for this thing, fix it. And they say, yeah, that's fine. And the reason they say, yeah, that's fine is because they also build in... Um, Five to seven hundred dollars in the sales price for future repairs in case you come in with a problem we don't build that in because here's the here's the give and take part um we're not fixing your car this is your car you're saving a ton of money buying from us fix your car okay if that doesn't work for you we've got thousands of people who have proven that it's fine with them um and by being honest and upfront we have a lot less drama in our lives okay uh yours and ours so that's how we roll. Hopefully that works for you. This is a beautiful van. Um, when my brother's done taking the photographs of it, we're going to have to hide it. Because I'm sure that he's, Pete's going to be in probably Monday or Tuesday morning, and it's Friday. 
Hopefully it's sold by then and we can say, ah, oh, darn. Anyway, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.